Hey guys, how's it going? Jose here. So I am back with another video. And this time, I don't know if you saw my previous video where I do some Best Buy shopping. And uh, a lot of you guys noticed that I purchased this universal rear speaker kit for a soundbar. It says wirelessly transmit audio to rear speakers compatible with most soundbars. Now this kit was very interesting because if you usually if you want to add speakers or rear speakers to a soundbar, it has to be compatible. And the speakers usually cost about 300 bucks. This kit, the whole kit cost me $80. Now I have the Sony HTX 9000F, as you guys can see, and that soundbar also supports Dolby Atmos and DTSX. Now the only bad thing about it is, is just you can't add rear speakers. Until now. That's why I bought this one. I never seen something like this, and I thought it was a really cool idea. Now, this comes pretty much with everything. It comes with the speakers, with the wires, it comes with the transmitter, the receiver. It has two, it comes with two optical cables, or if you want, also has a kit if you want to use a 3.5 millimeter audio. But in my case, I wanted to use the optical cables. I think it's just like the best option between both both of those options that they give you and also the power supplies and of course the remote controller now it is very easy to install to put this together the instructions are very clear so it is very very easy to put this together there's no brainer but there's a trick for you once you install this one there's a there's something that you need to change there's some things that you need to change in uh, either your Xbox or TV in this case I connected directly to my Xbox because that's where I wanted to to use it for the most part I play my movies right there and I'm gonna show you how to connect it so you can get the best audio possible all right so sit back relax and let's do this all right guys so everything has been working good so far this is the uh, the receiver. This is where you connect all your optical cables and power. One of these cables is going to go to the soundbar and the other one is going to go to the Xbox One X. That's how I have it connected. And over here I have the rear speakers. Now this is something temporarily because I don't even I didn't even know if this was going to work or not. So I put this the speakers temporarily right here with the wires and this is the other receiver. This is where you connect the speakers. And, it, and that's it. And then you just press the pair button to pair with the transmitter and that's it. So this one says Dolby Audio right there. And super, super easy to put it together. Now, if you're planning on buying this and you have a soundbar that supports Dolby Atmos, there's a compromise that you will need to do. You'll need to sacrifice Dolby Atmos in order for you to get rear surround speakers. I know it kind of sucks, but uh, trust me, this sounds better. <laughs> this actually sounds really good. I like it. I like it a lot. So we're gonna go to display and sound, right? And then we're gonna go to audio output, right over here. And then we're gonna change this to Dolby Digital. And the reason is because if I choose this Dolby Atmos, then I'm gonna get Beatstream Optical Audio out, and we need to have that. That's why. So you need to choose Dolby Digital and then Optical Audio. We need to turn this to Bitstream Out. And that's it. So no more Dolby Atmos, but you will have rear surround speakers. And trust me, it makes a difference. It does make a difference. I like it a lot. Now here, for example, I'm playing uh, Far Cry 5, right? Let me see if I can do this with one hand. So let me show you, let me show you uh, something that I noticed you got faith really fucking right away. So there's a dog around here. Okay, there's a dog. If I shoot here, the dog, I can hear the dog bark, barking behind me. Now if I shoot facing the dog, I can hear the dog barking just in front of me. That is what, you know, surround sound is supposed to do. I can hear the, I mean, I can still hear the bark in front of me too, just a little bit, tiny bit, but it, mostly it's behind me. And that is, that is what, you know, you're supposed to get when you get surround sound. This is not a true surround sound per se, but 
hey it's better than not having rear speakers i think and actually i am really enjoying this well let's say that you don't have the xbox right you have the playstation well i'm going to show you how to connect this to your playstation pretty much the cable the optical cable it has to go to your playstation you cannot connect it directly to your tv it just won't work all right so connect the cable directly the optical cable directly to your playstation so and then we're going to go into settings and then we're going to go into sound and screen and then audio output settings here and i find out that the audio format priority linear pcm it works the best if you use beatstream dolby or beatstream dts it kind of has a delay and the sound from the soundbar it, it turns down really bad so just use linear pcm it works the best i'm gonna show you how i am so excited with this one it sounds so good guys it sounds so cool guys Oh my god guys, you guys are gonna love this. Now when it comes to movies, this is really really cool. It truly immerses you into the movie. Just having these small rear speakers makes a huge difference in this. Now we're here with the controller. You can control uh, the volume of the rear speakers if you want. Now the receiver is right there. I can lower it down the volume. To almost nothing or just increase it just to have a little bit of sound or maybe just more sound you notice it's a huge <laughs> it can be very loud too now the cool thing is that you can also adjust the delay of the speakers just in case if you have delay you can control the, the master volume you can use it as a surround or stereo. You see stereo? No, I just want to um, surround. And just control the volume from here of the speakers. Yeah, very easy, very easy to use this controller. Now this is where the speakers are. You can hear the sound. I mean, they're not the best, but they 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 do give you this uh, surround sound. Now these are just regular speakers, guys. They're just nothing. They're nothing special. So I don't know. Maybe you can use some other kind of uh, surround speakers that you have laying around. Now the thing is. I don't know if this is going to be able to power that up. You know, this is just a regular insignia. This one says, uh, it says right here, 18 watts. Yeah, 18 watts. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be able to power up other speakers, but um, you can try if you want to. Nothing special about that. So there you have it guys, if you're looking to add speakers, rear speakers to your soundbar and you don't want to break your bank, this Insignia Universal Rear Speaker Kit works very good. I am surprised, honestly I thought this was not going to work. This was just a, some kind of trick that it was not going to work. But fortunately it does work with Dolby and also works with DTS. So if you want to try this, go ahead. Um, even if you don't like it, you can always return it. You have like two weeks to return it at Best Buy. But in this case, it worked. In my case, I had to sacrifice Dolby Atmos, but um, I kind of like this one better. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want me to do some more tests, maybe I want. I'm going. I'm still going to be trying other games as well to see how it feels. But uh, so far, so good. I like this one.
I'm very surprised. Honestly, I am very surprised. All right, guys. I'm Jolster. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Jolster out.